In this video I'm going to show you how to create a more advanced blog post and the two new items that are going to introduce at this stage. Firstly how to input a image into your post and then secondly how to create a hyperlink. So here we've got the uh, dashboard for the things I really should do blog and I want to create a new post so I click on new post. And we've got the usual text editor, which you've seen from the most basic post in the previous video. And I'm going to start off by giving it a title. And I'm going to say, this is a more advanced post. Honest. So and we've got various different options here for text editing. And the one I want to draw your attention to, first of all, is the one up here for the image, insert the image. So I'm going to click on that. And I've already uploaded a file here of a tree, but I'm going to show you how to do that again. Um, I, 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 kind of, I did it off video, so I want to show you how to do it again. So I'm going to go here to choose files. And the image I want to use is on my desktop. It's just called tree, so I'm going to double click on that and it brings it into the blog like this. And you can see it's a duplication of what I've got already there. Um, that was on my desktop. You may have your image somewhere else. You might have it on a memory stick or on a document file, wherever it may be. You just browse and you find it. It's in the blog now, but it's not actually associated with that post. So what I need to do is select the image by clicking it and you can see a blue border appearing around it and then come down to the add selected button and the image appears in my blog post. Now I can change some things about that. If I click on the image, I can change the size of it. Small, medium, large, original size, and also the justification of it, left, center, right. Now usually you'll probably be happiest with the uh, center justification and medium size, but you'll know yourself. Um, so I'm gonna come down here and I'm gonna put some text on it. And I'm gonna say this is a picture of a very wet looking tree. I wonder if the weather will improve. There's one way to find out. How about looking at a weather forecast. Okay, now so that's just some text that goes with that tree. And I'm gonna show you here how you can format the text. If you highlight the text like this, you can make it bold, you can italicize it, you can underline it. You can also change the text size. So you can go larger, you can change the font. So you can make various changes to it like that. Um, I'm, going to, I'm going to center that text as well. So if you come over here to the justification, you can see that you can also align it to the center like that. Now, the reason why I've put in the word weather forecast here is I want to make a hyperlink out of that. Remember, I want to show you two things in this video, how to uh, bring a image, an image into your, into your post, but also how to make a hyperlink. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight the words weather forecast down here just to have them highlighted you'll see why in a second and i've also got another tab open up here on my browser for the rte uh, weather page so i'm going to highlight the url for that web address and do a right click and go copy now i'm going to come back into my blog post and down here i've got the words weather forecast highlighted well now that they're highlighted if i come up to the option to make a link i can click on that you can see that the text of the link is going to be weather forecast. The web address, well, in here, if I do a right click and go paste, I've got the RTE weather website. And I want this to open in a new window, so go OK to that. So two new things here. We've got an image into the post, and we've also got a hyperlink down here in the post as well. So I'm going to publish that now, and then we can have a look and see how it looks. I'm not going to publish it to Google Plus just yet, so I cancel that. So here it is, this is a more advanced post, honest. And I'm gonna just close down the weather tab up here for the moment because I want to show you how it works from within the post itself. So I come up now to have a look at the blog. 
there should be two posts available to us now. We've got the original one, which was just a single line text. And we've got the one that I've just created, which is the picture of the tree. And if you have a look down here, the words weather forecast are a hyperlink. And if I click on that, my internet browser brings me straight to the weather page from the RTE website. So that's kind of handy. We've got an image in there and we've also got a hyperlink in there.